everyone, I'm McDowell here with another YouTube video, and I can't tell you how much I have fun at this uh, at this one trap Trump rally. This was my first rally here, and that was in Warren, Michigan, <clears throat> and it was, I mean, it was crazy. I mean, got to meet a lot of nice people, got to interview myself because the person liked my hat, and the thing is. Regardless of what your political beliefs are, we all try to try to do what's right for ourselves and what's right for our neighbors. And that's what, what brings the community together and makes us more united and less divided against each other. And I tell you, I had a quite a big experience. <clears throat> I got there about 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning. The doors open at 8 <clears throat> and the, the, the parking lot opened at 8. But the doors didn't open until about 2 p.m. So your uh, the thing is that I could not and I did not even hardly move at all because I basically just stu I stood in line the whole time. And of course, for it being my first Trump rally, I didn't know what to expect. I kind of also maybe misread the instructions about registering. So instead of going from the the uh, uh, from one line, I went to the general line and had to stand for hours and hours and hours. Didn't go in the bathroom. Didn't eat anything. So, yeah. And in the middle, middle of both the cold and the heat. So, therefore, you're basically got this, uh, kind of got this, this anticipation of what to do. But the thing is, with me, I was nice and calm the entire time. I mean, I was get, actually get a little bit, you know, a little bit touchy, but the thing is, that's just what happens when you stay in line for so long. And they kind of treat it like it was a, like a theme park. I mean, they were getting rock, getting like all kinds of like different music and stuff like that. Almost like a rock concert or like a theme park. And uh, as soon as I saw the one person I saw that came up, the first celebrity was, I think his name is Mike Liddell from uh, from uh, My Pillow. Great guy, uh, need to work on his need to work on his uh, comedy, but he was a, he's a, he's a great guy though. Told about his about his past for, for being a a, a a being a crack addict, and the thing is, while I don't actually you know really indulge in any of that, in any of that because it's really bad for you, drugs and alcohol. Hey, that is your idea, but the thing is, if you get caught into that lifestyle, it's going to be the death of you and the death of your family and the death of your fortune. So guys, don't be drooling anymore. Don't do any drinking. Don't do any drugs. I mean, that's just my that's just my opinion. But it's your life. I mean, I hope you do do good by your life and that you do others good by your life. But uh, smoking, drinking, and doing drugs, yeah, they ain't gonna never be for me. I don't care how much people hate me for it. I ain't, they ain't never gonna happen to me ain't, 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 ever. So, and the thing is, I'm waiting the entire time the line. I get interviewed by this guy. He likes my hat so much. So I get anything is that's the first time I ever got interviewed. I mean, the first time I ever got put in a movie was in Real Steel back in in the uh, 2010, and uh, it was pretty uh, just like being just like being the movie. It was both boring and also uh, uh, exciting as well. I didn't know what to expect going this rally, so I got interviewed by the guy. I, I want to say it was Michigan TV or something like that. I forget the guy's name, but the guy was a young kid. And he had a whole suit on and glasses and all that. Interviewing me with his phone. And, you know, it was kind of an experience was like that. You get to meet a lot of nice people. They all respect their country. They all respect the, the, the American values they support. So I go from one line, I go to another line, and then, and then they open up the doors. Just I'm still staying in line. You gotta make sure all your pockets are out because of because of security. The one thing about about any rallies or about anything is just treat it like a rock concert. No one wants to get into a fight. No one wants to try to you know get get uh, pull away. You got these big me. I'm be very Jack, very big Jack Chaz going around. And they they the thing is they say if you guys are not gonna move, people will move. And the thing with me, I always follow. I always am respectful for, to anyone who, who basically tell me that uh, if you go on this line, I'm going to have to move you. And the thing is, I'm not the one who starts trouble. I always want who I'll, I'll, I'll be the one who want to finish it, but I'm not the one who starts trouble. The ones who start trouble, hey, take your take your butt back to where you belong. But they got all these big muscle guys making telling everyone. 
be sure you follow the rules and that you stay off the tracks for emergency purposes like that. So, and I was pretty pretty calm about the whole thing. So I get inside, uh, and this is at Macomb Community College. I get inside the college, the big gymnasium. You got people in the stands here and there. I mean, you got the camera crew, and you got the camera crew in the back where all the hot lights are. I mean, hot. How to light? How to light than this? And they're all being down. On time I got, I might even almost got a sunburn on my back of my neck. But these hot lights, it was so hot. I mean, it felt like it was about nine degrees in there. Now the thing is, I ate breakfast, and that was it. That was it. I had nothing to eat all day. I'm standing in line from the cold to the heat inside that building, and you got people on top of you the whole time. So the thing is that we got to be all the different endorsed candidates. Um, they play my favorite. Excuse me. They play two of my favorite songs, "Suspicious Mind" and "American Children" from Elvis Presley. God, God, God help. Um, God save the queen. I mean, God, God save the king. Long live the king. That's what I should say. Long live the king. And you, they get to meet. You get to see all the, the endorsed candidates. Uh, Marjorie Taylor Green was there. Tudor, Tudor Dixon was there. Uh, Paul Young was there. They were all all the endorsed candidates were there. And as soon as, as soon as it went, it went quiet for about an hour. And this is between uh, six to about seven forty seven forty five, or oh, maybe about seven fifteen. And that when the big man himself, Donald Trump, came out there, and it was blewed up like it was nothing. The whole thing blew up. But you can only tell, even he was feeling the heat too, because his face was all red and shiny. So he was feeling the heat, we was feeling the heat. Had a, it was very inspiring to even be that close. I mean, about about 20 feet away from him. And that's how close I was. And the thing is, I tried so hard to try to get his attention, try to show him, because I wrote him a few, a few letters in the past. And uh, hopefully that the country gets back on his feet. And that was actually, like I said... It was a very inspiring thing to see, to even be that close. Because remember, I shook hands with Hugh Jackman on the set, on the back of the set of uh, Real Steel behind the fair scene. I wrote a letter to Donald Trump. He wrote one back and sent me a Christmas card too. And the thing is, that was so close to you meet, meet a president who has such grace and have such respect to his country and to the people and that he helped help actually lead that is such inspiring you should always always show how humble you are when you're trying to meet great leaders the one leaders that actually will help you get out of your your uh, depression state or even in for any kind of state if you're feeling real real poor i mean the other thing is the system is designed to do that it's to make you feel poor and keep making you feel rich but the thing is you got two choices you got the silver chains and you got the golden chains. The thing is, is the thing is, it's all about how you actually beat that. That's why I like, and that is what I once told. Uh, I once told another YouTuber, and the thing is, I'm not going to use her name, but she's a very, a very intelligent and very talented young lady. I told her that uh, you should always count your blessings, regardless if you're rich or poor. Why? Because it is your character that will help actually build that, build that wealth. And that is what we do here in America. And she lives in California, but I wish her all the best in her YouTube uh, career. She got almost 11,000 followers. And she is, I mean, she really is real talented. But the thing is, she feels, we all get this insecurity about being being poor and not actually develop more money into us but i like to say to this young lady that don't give up keep being yourself as much as possible don't ever apologize for for being for being white you don't see uh you don't see the the, the black community the uh, uh hispanic community the asian com the uh oriental community you don't see none of them apologizing for them being themselves and that's one reason why one reason why i actually went from President Obama to Trump, because it's all about trying to be ourselves once and for all and not actually be apologized. I mean, 
Yeah, train yourself to be actually be good in the world. Yes. Be good, do good, try to do good for your for your family and friends. Don't ever try to rip people off. Don't ever try to rip people off because you have a lot more resentment, a lot more enemies. You can't always please everyone, but the thing is, always maintain that self-respect and dignity into yourself. And I speak to this to this unnamed YouTube YouTuber. Just keep your just just keep yourself up, keep your chin up. You will you will succeed in life. You just gotta keep working hard to do so. If that means doing something you love, go for it, girl. And if you meet a night, if you actually meet an actually good young gentleman who actually will respect you for who you are and not just for your money and not just because of your religion, but your entire character, everything about you, that will show you how much you are being respected in this world and not being manipulated or being used. And be sure you also, and I'm still talking to this YouTuber, be sure also that when you actually do actually meet that, that young gentleman, you don't rip him off of his money. But you actually respect him how he much will respect you. And for all for all everyone who actually do want a great uh, who actually do want to see a good country, ladies and gentlemen, be sure in November during the midterms you go vote and you voice your opinion, you speak loud and proud, no matter what your political beliefs are. I'll be sure to I'll be sure to actually post the entire I'll be sure to post the entire well not the entire rally because I had to leave about 9 p.m. when it, when he was still talking and missed the entire inspiration of the speech. Got to see him. I mean, so close, about 25 feet away, so close to me praying President Trump. I just want to say one more thing. And when it comes to when, it, like I said, when it comes to this country, yeah. Right now, it's not great, but we will make it great if we try to pick ourselves up, become strong once again, and still believe in ourselves that we can accomplish anything for the sake of good for ourselves and our country. So, ladies and gentlemen, God bless you all. God bless the United States of America, and God bless any YouTuber who actually feels the same way. God bless you all. This is Al McDowell, signing off.